are you doing? Happy making bread. What kind of bread are we making? Sour gold bread. Sour dough bread indeed. What are you doing right now? Bread the oven. <laughs> What's it called? Kneading. Ah. It's okay. Give it a good, Jonathan. We're not babysitting it. <laughs> <laughs> babysitting no, the not bread. No, babysitting. You have to knead it. Put, oh. some, put your muscles into it. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Mom, why not babysit the bread? Oh. Like this? Push it. Push hard. There you go now. Flip it. Oh! Shh. Flip it. <laughs> like this. Okay, now push. Easy. Don't no. hold the bread. Push hard. Okay, good. Oh, now, now flip it again. Uh. You're okay. There you go. Okay. We're going to need this for about 10 minutes. You want to tell me? Can you come over and show me how you did your starter? Add more flowers. You added more flour and what? Water. And water every day? Every day, yes. Every day. And then we started doing it twice a day? Yes, twice a day. Huh? Twice a day. That's right. See you on the side. Yeah, look how nice. It got so nice, it's actually coming up out of the... That's only been fed once today. Today is the last day that we'll feed it twice a day. And then starting tomorrow, starting tomorrow, <laughs> we'll only feed it once a week, unless we don't use it often. I mean, we'll, you know, we'll use it more often, of course, and we'll feed it every time. But anyway, Jonathan made this starter, and I thought it was really good for his first starter. Really active, too. Now, remember how... Remember how Mom just showed you how to do it? Yes. Press hard. Hard. There we go. Now, <laughs> you got to flip it when Ooh, you're doing it. Ooh, friends. You're so sidetracked all the time. Hi there, Mom. <laughs> you're having entirely too much fun with that bread. <laughs> Yes, I had a lot of fun with the bread. Okay, you about done? Yeah. Okay, because we need to knead for, we need to knead. has to be kneaded for five to ten minutes, and we're probably pretty close to that. So we're going to go ahead and get it into an oil bowl. bowl. Boil, bowl, flip it, and make sure it's covered, and then we're going to let it rise for an hour, hour and a half. And just this little side note to parents that um, homeschool, which y'all probably already know a lot of these things, or to parents that are thinking about homeschooling, and even just parents that are um, wanting to help their kids with math or science, baking is a really good way to help them with baking, uh, with, sorry, with math and science. Um, this makes a great science project, how the yeast activates, how it naturally grows, and then so they can see the reactions when you feed it. Um, it's a really great project. And then um, with baking, you know, with the measuring and stuff, I know with Jonathan he had a hard time with math, but um, when we used it for baking, it all made sense to them because then there was a practical purpose to it. So sometimes it just takes finding their interest. So think about that too. I've got my bowl that I'm going to put it in to rise. Um, covered in olive oil. And I'm going to put it in. Make sure it's nice and coated. Flip it over. There we go. That way it won't stick to the wrap. Now we're going to loosely cover it and leave it for an hour, hour and a half. So it's been a very, very cold day outside. It hasn't gotten above 31 today. And um, 
that's in a covered sheltered area. But <laughs> um, when we're stuck inside like that, we just kind of cook and bake. And so this is a concoction I've been making up to. Just kind of threw together. It's five or six different kinds of beans with some sweet Italian sausage cooking in it. We're just going to let that simmer because that's actually for dinner tomorrow. Because tonight we're having um, baked potatoes with um, the rest of the sweet sausage, sweet Italian sausage, on it with some cheese and veggies and stuff. And we're just going to let that cook on the wood stove. And as usual, because um, the stove does get so hot, I'm, uh, I've got it up on a trivet right now. I don't know if you can see that because it's not very bright in here right now. Okay, so... It was doubled in size. We just punched it down, formed it into uh, about a 12 inch loaf here. Now I'm going to put it, I put it over into the dining room actually, the formal dining room that's closer to the wood stove. Um, and we're going to let it double in size again. And then we're going to pop it in the oven at 400 degrees. Well, actually, I'm going to brush it with some egg white, but we'll show you when we get there. Okay. So it's doubled in size, and uh, Jonathan has apparently already lost interest in his <laughs> first sourdough making or sourdough bread loaf here. But um, anyway, so I'm going to brush some egg whites on here, and I've got the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And then I'm going to cut some slits in it to let some air out. With a very sharp knife, I just sharpened it, and uh, we'll show you when we get there. So here's my trusty knife that I just sharpened. Let's hope it's as sharp as I think it is. Um, I'm going to make them like lateral here. Oh yeah, that's a nice sharp knife. Good. Nice. There we go. Okay. Now, I don't have a pastry brush anymore, so I'm just going to have to kind of drizzle and I whipped this egg white with the fork here so it's um, it's very light which is how you want it you want it to have that air in it so it's not like a thick plastered egg white I'm going to brush it on the top and like I said this would be much, be much better if I had a pastry brush but I melted mine accidentally Thanksgiving I think it was so anyway Okay, so we're just going to do that, and we're going to actually do this twice. We're going to put it in the oven, and then we're going to put a pan in the oven with some boiling water. You want to use a cook sheet, a pie pan, something like that, something that um, will hold some boiling water. Put a little bit of boil, well, put enough boiling water in there so that it won't disappear when you're baking it. Um, okay, so my... Uh, iPhone died that I was using to record, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take some water out of the Keurig is what I'm going to do. Put that in my pie pan here, put that in my oven, and then put the bread in, and we're going to let it bake like that for 20 minutes to start with. Okay, and you want to be very careful not to burn yourself, but put it on the rack underneath the rack that your bread is going on. And then put that loaf of bread in there, close it, and we're going to bake it for 20 minutes. And then we're going to brush some more egg whites on and then bake it for another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so we are 20 minutes into the baking and look at that. Is that a beautiful loaf of bread? Oh, yes, it is, my and you see. He must have smelled the bread because he came back to his project. <laughs> right, Jonathan? Yes. Okay, and I'm just going to drizzle this a little bit over here. And you put that in the oven again. Yep, and then we're going to put it back in the oven. What to do with that egg? And this is just going to make it nice, shiny, and crispy. And, you know, really, this is not the way to do it. So, you know, have a brush. What to do with that well, egg? The egg yolk you can have for breakfast in the morning. In the morning? Mm-hmm. 
Thank okay, you. so now we're going to stick it back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. And look, that's just beautiful. Jonathan, you made such a beautiful loaf of bread, son. You think so, Mom? I do think so. I do. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get this back in the oven. Check the water. Water is still nice and full down there. Water. So we shall put this back in. There we go. Beautiful. And let's put the timer on 20 minutes again. Hot Mr. Watson. Up. Minutes. Just hold it. One. One more. There we go. Okay. So timer set, 20 minutes, and we'll check it. And there's our pot of beans and sausage. I took them out of our, uh, out of my cast iron uh, Dutch oven, and I just put it in this pot so it could cool down quicker, and we could stick it in the fridge and let all those flavors meld until tomorrow with dinner, and we'll have some of that good sourdough bread toasted with it. Can't wait. It's so nice to have dinner prepared ahead of time. Mommy. May I touch it? Not with your finger. Do you have a nail? No. Are you going to burn it? <laughs> okay. Hey. Don't burn it. Well, what good is that going to do you? Cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. <laughs> Off of the sideshow here. Beautiful, crispy loaf of sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. Good job, Jonathan. Thank you, my All right. See you out of the side. Toodles. And it all started with a little sourdough making project. Wow. Sourdough starter making project. Yes.